I'll never forget 9-11. I was flying back from, we do mission work in Moldova, and I was flying back on this airplane, and we did a U-turn. And I said to the guy, mm -hmm. I says, hey, what's happened? What's the deal? And he says, I can't tell you, but we've got to go back to London. So we went back to London. Mm -hmm. Prince Andrew was on the plane, and the Queen demanded he be returned. And I'll never mm -hmm. forget, when I walked out of that airplane that night, back in London, and everybody was weeping. I've never seen anything mm -hmm. like it. All the airlines mm. had, had pulled in their staff and they were working behind the counters. And I mean, we literally walked up and the woman says, where do you want to go? I says, well, my folks live in Aberdeen, Scotland. She says, there you go, take this, go. And um, we literally had a piece of paper with a, 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 some code on it. And that was all we got from them. And we reappeared the next day because there's no flights that night. Mm. And got a flight up to Aberdeen. And, and so, so mm. I mean, it shook, it shook the world, but the impact of New yeah. York City was the mm -hmm. gates, my gracious me, America is yep. known for New York City. And even today we're living in a day when that gate is being taken down yep. and dismantled before yep. the whole world. And um, so yep. bring, us up to, bring us up to speed. Where do you see us as we sit right now? I, I, I'm not prophetic in, in, in utterance, but I'm prophetic in vision. And I can see some real and imminent stuff coming our way because we are still rebelling against God. We're still doing all the stuff we shouldn't be doing. And we, we, need to, we need to take heed as to what the Harbinger 2 is telling us. Give us, give us a, a synopsis. Yeah, what do you well, see us at this moment? Yeah, yeah well, well, yeah, the, the, the template, the, the biblical mystery of judgment, of national judgment, you were speaking about the beginning things. Uh, but there's the pattern. The template is this. Years before the nation's full judgment, and, yeah. uh, and, and which, which in Israel ultimately meant destruction, but, yeah. but great shakings come. Years before that, that's when, the, the, that's when an enemy makes a strike on the land. That's when it begins. You know, that, that's when the first warning is. Because God is gracious. Long before the, the final, he gives a shaking, a wake-up call. And that, oh, it, that comes in the form of an enemy attack. Happened with ancient wow. Israel. Happened with ancient Judah. Happened with, uh, in the time of, of the attack of Rome after Jesus. It, there, always there's the first strike. And then there is a gap. Um, and and there there is a there is and, and in the time of ancient Israel and ancient Judah, it was a span of years that the nation is given to come back to wow. turn back. It's like the yes. warning comes. So nine eleven was the war that was that shaking. If you remember, uh, Philip, oh. after nine eleven, everybody was everybody oh. was uh, was was rushing to church. You know, yes. um, houses of worship were filled. It looked like there was, there could have been a revival. And yet there was no revival because about three weeks later, it was gone. Because without repentance, there can be no revival. If you don't change your course, you're not going to change the end of that course. And America never did. And so instead of getting better, it got worse. I mean, look at where we were at 9-11. Look at where we are now. We have been racing away from God. And that's the thing is, Phil, this is exactly what happened to ancient Israel. With ancient Israel, it's not just that the yeah. harbingers at all, and you know, the... the the original harbingers, all nine of them, manifested in America um, as it did in ancient Israel. But and even even the words that American you know leaders said were the same words that were said in the last days of ancient Israel by those leaders. So it all unfolded. But the thing is that that the next part has also unfolded up to this day, and that is that it's not just that; it's the entire nation itself. We have been following the footsteps of ancient Israel in its judgment and Amazing. in its approach and to judgment and destruction so it's not only the harbingers we have been following exactly you know one of the 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 yeah. you know the scriptures that is the key in the harbinger one is that is isaiah 9 10 which when that first attack came that's when you know isaiah records that faith that scripture isaiah 9 10 where the people said hey the bricks fell you know the buildings fell but we're yeah. coming back stronger we're going to build higher greater it says the sycamores trees have been struck down in that attack, but we're gonna we're gonna plant a stronger. We're coming back stronger without God. Well, that's exactly what America did. And instead of coming back to God, we said, "Hey, we're gonna come back on our own, and we're gonna come back stronger without God." Well, we we the, all those warnings of of you know the, the nine harbingers are linked to that scripture. That scripture is saying that that nation 
is 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 heading away, heading to judgment, is gonna is responding in arrogance, in pride, which is what we did. Um, in fact, you know, and that's what leads to where we are now. In fact, the the you know, on the day after 9-11, this is in the original Harvard, on the day after 9-11, the, the American government gathers on Capitol Hill and the the leader of the Senate or the Senate majority leader, Tom Daschle, gets up and he gives the, America's response at the end of the speech. He says, there is a word that that speaks to us now. And then he out of his mouth, he starts reciting Isaiah 9, 10. He has no idea what he's yeah. doing. He has no idea what he's saying. It is the scripture of judgment of a nation that has just begun its judgment and that and that has 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 vowed against God and is heading there. Well, what he said, it's he really he pronounced judgment. It all has come true. This is what we did. He said, This is what we're gonna do, which is which is we're gonna harden ourselves against God. Well, we have we have done all that, and the thing is that we are we have now headed and the danger, one of the reasons why I wrote the Harbinger 2 is I saw the danger of this window that we've been in of coming to an end because the 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 way that you know the signs of that are great shakings will come uh, are, start coming on the land well i got that i got that before 2020 and that's again one of the reasons why i knew i had to write the harbinger too and so the harbingers first of all since that time have continued to manifest warning where we are and now we are at a time where we are watching great shakings come upon the land, which means it is a more dangerous time. And all these things that have happened since I wrote the book, The Harbinger, and all these things that are happening now are all, I, I, I would say, I hate to say it, but they're all part of the template of judgment. Uh, we are a stiff-necked people, is what the Bible describes us as. And as you say, when God points us out in judgment, he is He is putting a, a shot across our bow saying consider your ways think about what's going on think tell us what you're doing and we have become so smug and so isolated from God that we think we are God the, the whole thing that's taking place is now people listen to me what's happening in America today is the government is trying to replace God they want to be the mm. God of our lives they want to be those, and that is, that is the result of people who are unrepentant, who think they know better than God, and they are bringing judgment upon themselves. What is, um, this fa what is the judgment tree, Jonathan? That, that really intrigues me. Yeah. Yeah, well, there, if, uh, for those who know the harbinger, there, one of those non harbingers was this tree. For, oh, first yeah. of all, it says the sycamores have fallen. So we, so that's one of the signs of judgment. Well, on 9 11, you know, last moments, a, uh, uh, a building, you know, the last tower comes down and sends forth a beam, strikes an object. The object is a tree. It's a sycamore that just happens to be oh. growing at the corner of Ground Zero. It is struck down. The sycamores have fallen. It all happened. Every one of those harbingers happened. So the sycamore, and that actually, actually, Philip, that's what I saw when I was standing at Ground Zero that began the harbinger. What I saw, the remains of that tree uh, there. And somebody said, oh, this man. is the thing. So, so that's there. But then it says the people will replace that tree with another tree, a stronger tree, that's going to be a symbol of their defiance. Well, it says, but we will oh, plant man. cedars, or in Hebrew, it says Erez tree. That's the real word. Well, uh, uh, about two years after 9-11, a tree appears in the sky and starts coming down on ground zero. They're lowering it because they are they are performing the ancient act of the mystery. They're replacing the fallen sycamore oh. with a with a tree. And the tree, what kind of tree? It's a it's a an Erez tree, the same tree in Hebrew that Isaiah says in that scripture, and they they make it a symbol. They call it the tree of hope, and says you know we're it's a sign that we're going to come back stronger. Well, that's how the harbinger, you know that that when I wrote the harbinger, that was there. But now the thing is, one of the what one of the signs of judgment of co of coming judgment is that of a tree withering away we all know it when jesus cursed the fig tree but it's throughout the yeah. bible the withering away of tree is linked to judgment or national judgment well well what happened to that harbinger the tree of hope representing america yeah. it began to wither away since i wrote the book it began to wither away and and withered and withered a sign of a nation withering america withering spiritually morally withering you know and and no matter what they did they could not they could they were trying to save they couldn't change the withering everything around the tree was blossoming 
Um, I mean, I mean, all the other trees, but the tree, this tree, the harbinger just withered away, representing America. Well, one of the other, the, the next progression in the Bible is a, 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 a heavy sign of, of the fall of a nation is the fall of the cedar or the fall of the Eris tree. You remember those scriptures where God says, the mighty cedar of Lebanon, the yes. cedars will fall. Okay. Well, that's the Eris tree. Well, well, here it is. And here in New York is this Eris tree withering away, representing America. But then, Philip, that what happened is the tree of that represent America fell. It was destroyed. And it, this harbinger fell. And it was actually, it fell on a Hebrew holy day which was the, the Feast of Passover that speaks actually also of the judgment of a nation. And, and so you got, you got two sides. You got the fall of the Eris tree. You have, you have a, a holy day of God. And another sign of the Bible, I mean, that it speaks about judgment. Uh, it speaks about, it says, the moon shall turn, it shall be dark, it shall turn red. I'm not, and that, of course, there's something that is yet to come, but yes. it talks about the moon turning red. Well, that night that, that, that it fell, the tree fell, the moon turned red because it was an eclipse of the moon on that day and it was Passover. And so the, the thing is, well, if, you know, if the, the fall of a sycamore is links up with 9-11, which is a weak tree, what yeah. the fall of the Ares tree, that is, a, that is a much stronger tree. That speaks of a much greater fall of a nation. So of, if that was 9-11, what is then coming to America?